First starting off with Caleb Wesson. He's a 21-year-old, 6'9", 270-pound uh, pound center out of Ohio State. He averaged 14 points, 9.3 rebounds, and 1.9 assists on 44.4% uh, of the field, 42.5% from three, and 73.1% from the line. My strengths are that he has a really nice form on his jump shot, and he can really shoot the ball from uh, three very well, and is pretty comfortable from out there. He sets pretty good in hard screens, uh, and he has the threat of rolling to the basket, but he can also be a player that can pop out for three and can pop out for mid-range. So I always love the the dual threat of being a pick and roll and pick and pop guy uh, he's a very good passing big man who has an excellent feel for the game very high basketball iq he does a great job of uh, sensing double teams and then kicking it out to open shooters he has great physicality with a uh, really good size he's super strong uh, and he has an excellent ability to absorb contact at the basket and to finish through guys. He's a good post player who uses that physicality, that size to his advantage. He does a great job of putting himself in post position. Uh, he's very good timing and anticipation as a shot blocker, even if he's not the biggest vertical leaper. Uh, he's a very fundamental rebounder who boxes out well, does all the little things uh, you'd want, even though he's maybe not the biggest player uh, and then overall his just strength is really impressive and he uses that in so many ways as a post player on offense and on defense as a rebounder as a finisher uh, that strength helps his game out a lot my weaknesses are he needs to cut down his uh, his turnovers as he does have the tendency to be careless as a passer and a ball handler he averaged uh, 2.5 per game like I said, definitely just needs to cut down on that. His weight and conditioning is something that teams are going to need to monitor uh, and just look at at all times. As reportedly he was at some point in high school, 325 pounds. Definitely did a good job of cutting down on that weight throughout his college career, but it's something that you're still going to have to worry about. Uh, and his touch can be questionable at times around the rim. That's why his efficiency for a center especially uh, wasn't that great. He can just uh, rush shots sometimes uh, and have some weird times where he just misses uh, pretty point-blank layups. And he was a below-average finisher in his most recent season. Uh, he doesn't have the ability to face up uh, really at all. It doesn't have much of a face-up game, especially in a more uh, face-up league for bigs and less of a post-up game. That is a bit concerning. He just doesn't have the burst to be... Uh, beat people off the dribble and he's really not a good ball handler uh, he's not very good in the pick and roll defense because he uh, isn't great uh, moving his feet and just isn't uh, the laterally quickest person uh, his lack of vertical pop will definitely limit him as a shot blocker even if he has good time and good anticipation sometimes uh, that lack of athleticism w will just hurt him uh, definitely must cut down his fouls that's some Times he can be put in foul trouble way too early in game, uh, and that definitely hurts him. And then he just has limited potential due to his below average athleticism, even if he's a smart player who knows what he's doing out there. I'm as a top 55 to 65 prospect. Uh, I'm fitting best with the Knicks because they could use a shooting big man behind Mitchell Robinson. Overall, their shooting was just atrocious this year. Uh, and then I have the Nuggets because they could develop him as a shooting and passing big man. Uh, they may be losing Mason Plumlin, uh, Plumlee sooner than later, so I think he could be a bit of a project that they uh, just put in the G League, put on a two-way contract, and that uh, could develop into a player for them at some point. And I've been compared to Alex Len, another guy who can shoot the ball, uh, has a bit of a uh, similar frame, even though Alex Len is definitely a little bit taller. And I do like Caleb, uh, Caleb Webson a little bit.